What's going on YouTube? It's Asian Phenom back with another very exciting exclusive recipe. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make my own version of seafood stir fry. So today I'm using a little bit of special ingredients. We have the white shrimp from Venezuela. So it was about $5.99 a pound on sale from 99 Ranch Market. And then I have some of this exciting live black mussel from Mexico farm raised. Also, right here we have some clams represented from Manila farm raised also. And I'm going to use simple ingredients. Let's not forget the jalapeno peppers. I'm going to cut up real nice, add an extra spiciness level to it. Simple spices, vegetable oil, salt, crushed red pepper, black pepper. And I'm going to throw in some Jose Cuervo tequila. Just to add a little bit of sexiness to it. So right here we have a pot of boiling water. What I'm going to do is steam the mussels and clams. I don't want to overcook it, so I probably want to... Cook it about 75% while I'm frying the stir frying the shrimp. Then I'm gonna add it, add the clam and the mussels. Let's get to it. Here I have my jalapenos all cut up nicely. I like these rings. It looks sexy. I remove all the seeds, of course. And then with the water on high, we're just gonna throw in the mussels and the clams. We don't want to cover it because we don't we don't want to overcook it. Make sure you stir. And just when it's about to open, we're going to turn off the power. You can if you want. I'm just going to add a little bit of a pinch of salt. The flavor is going to come a little bit later, a little bit of oil. Maybe some black pepper. You know, just to make sure it's all marinated real well. So we're going to cook, I assume, about. See how it's starting to open up already? It's about almost done, but the clams might take a little bit longer. So I expect around one to one and a half minutes. So I notice the mussels tend to be cooked faster than the clams, so I'm just going to take it out like that. We'll let the clams cook a little bit longer, just when it's about to open up. So the clams took about three minutes. I notice it's just starting to open up. So quickly. Take it out of the pot. You know what? I totally forgot to mention about the garlic and ginger mixture. So now I have my skillet or wok on high. Let's throw some of this vegetable oil in here. Make sure it's all slippery and nice so it doesn't stick. Oh yeah. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Throw my garlic and ginger in here. Bring out all that sexy aroma. I love that burning garlic. It's amazing. So now, with my shrimp already washed, I'm just going to throw in this. Like that. Mix it in really good. Make sure both sides are cooked. So what we're going to do is cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes to a point where it's about 65% done and then we're going to throw in the mussel and clam. One thing I hate is overly cooked shrimp because it just tastes like rubber, just like overly cooked lobster. But make sure you pay attention to why you're cooking this. Oh yeah, after almost two minutes of cooking, now I'm going to throw in my 60 ingredients of jalapeno. Let's go add that spiciness level that I want. Yeah, this one look lovely. Alright, so it's about three and a half minutes into cooking. Notice how that's turning a lovely orange color. Now I'm going to throw in the rest of my sexy ingredients. Uh, listen to that sizzling sound. That's what I love about cooking. 
Man, that smell is so good. This would cost you like, shoot, 30 bucks at the restaurant. Now what I'm going to do, crush red pepper. Make sure I have a sprinkle plenty of this around. Make sure everything's all nice and spicy. Black pepper. Oh yeah. A little bit of salt, you don't want to overdo it because it's going to ruin the natural sweetness of the seafood. Alright, stir it. Oh man, that aroma, I am not kidding. It's lovely. Let me zoom in, look at that. Look at the mussels and the clams soaking in all that goodness. But last but not least, Jose Cuervo, but first of all, let me give a shout out real quick. Let me do a shot. All right, here we go. I'm almost reaching 3,000 subscribers, so I'm gonna give a quick shout out to all my loyal subscribers, old and new. I'm about, I'm thinking about doing a contest drawing or maybe a contest video. I even thought about maybe how about like a AOS subscriber. Water bucket challenge in the top three videos get prizes maybe something like that hit me up in the comment section and see what let me know what you guys think so cheers to all my subscribers hmm ah. here we go Jose Cuervo time oh yeah it's good amount right here hmm Oh, mm, why not more? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is mix this up. Make sure you don't overcook it. The pot was so big, I couldn't even plate it. I'm just gonna eat it straight from the wok right here. Look at how lovely all the ingredients are. Let me do a final zoom in. I'm speechless. Let me tell you, it is heavenly the smell and I can't wait to dig into it look at those succulent like pieces of white shrimp with the mussels and the clams got some steamed rice on the side that's gonna complete my dinner right here good luck getting this from your local red lobsters here we go let's try one of these succulent pieces of shrimp suck the head oh yeah peel it real good just like that. See how the taste is. Dip some of the sauce in the Jose Cuervo. Oh yeah. Here we go. You can use some sriracha if you want, but I'm just gonna eat it simple like that. Ooh, that natural sweetness with a slight alcohol flavor. Amazing. Try some of this clam right here. It's a manila clam. Wow, we chew some of this tapeno. Still crunchy. Mmm. Lovely, lovely. Live black mussel. Look at that. That's why I call it not overly cooked. Although I should have removed that, but I'm lazy. Well, Oh well, you know, there's more calories for me. I'm not complaining, I'm not picky. Wow, we that's good stuff. Just gonna mix it up with some of this white rice. That's what I call a delicious dinner. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. On a scale of 100%, I'm gonna have to definitely give this a 92%. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Oh, <laughs>